Yuan Shao suddenly heads south toward Cao Cao's territory and steals the elixir that Lu Bu had been safeguarding. Yuan Shao now commanded an army of demons, striking fear into the hearts of many and allowing him to secure footholds across the land. With tiredness and fear spreading among his men, Cao Cao faced crushing odds, but his star burned yet brightly. He roused his loyal army and went out on an all-or-nothing attack. Shao's forces have taken the Yanjin fort. <sighs> Our vanguard heading for Baima has been taken out by the enemy generals Yan Liang and Wen Chou. You have treated me with such kindness. Allow me to return the favor, Minister Cao. I shall bring you the enemy commander's head. How many men will you need? I will need just one. Hmm. <laughs> Yuan Xiao's forces are strong. Be careful. So, milady, what did the stars tell you now? We shall only know when this battle is through, my lord. There's one primary strategic point on the river crossing here in Baima. The one who takes it can prevent enemy reinforcements. Exactly. Cao Cao will do everything in his power to cover his losses. However, our goals are different. We must find the towers who killed our father. <laughs> Cao Cao's army has reached Baima. I want Shao Aman's head now. Yes, my lord. We will do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? Let none say we lack forces anymore! 